Environmentalist Tom Clements with Friends of the Earth tracks nuclear issues primarily in South Carolina and Georgia. But the unusual event report posted Wednesday morning by Progress Energy's Brunswick plant grabbed his attention. One reason that that's significant is because this type of reactor, a boiling water reactor, it goes directly through the, uh, the core of the reactor where the radioactive material is contained. He says he wants to know the source of the leak, whether the water leaking is radioactive, and if this poses any threat to workers, the public, or the environment. The leakage rates, according to the report on the NRC website, were up to 10 gallons a minute, or approaching 10 gallons a minute. But when they shut the reactor down, they had gotten it down to maybe three gallons a minute. But it's a significant leak. Progress Energy officials say this is the lowest emergency classification used by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Officials say Unit 2 has been offline since November 5th for scheduled maintenance. They say they noticed an issue when they started it back up Wednesday morning. We're bringing the unit to a safe, stable position so that we can go inside, find the leak, address it, and then work to bring the unit back up. Mosher says they believe radioactive water is leaking from the top of the vessel, but poses no threat to the environment or people. As the leak is contained within the containment structure and through the different vessel uh, drain pumps and drain systems that we have inside the reactor. He says at this point they're investigating the cause of the leak. Once we understand exactly what did happen with Unit 2, uh, we will make sure that we record those observations, that information, and we will go and apply those learnings to Unit 1. At this point, Clement says he just wants to make sure they keep the public informed. In Brunswick County, Brianna Wadden, News 14, Carolina.